Hello, my name is Andrew Lombardo and I am here to talk to you about designing filtration systems to remove heavy metals from water. Electronic waste is a growing problem in our world. Millions of computers, TVs, cell phones, and other electronic devices are discarded every year and they can end up in landfills locally or overseas and the number is rising. With the obsolescence rate of these devices, electronic waste is becoming a major issue. The heavy metals in these devices can leach out of the landfills or wherever their final destinations are and contaminate the groundwater. Some of the numbers on the amounts of heavy metals is fairly shocking. The average CRT monitor has approximately four pounds of lead. The amount of lead in one CRT monitor can contaminate 48 million gallons of water above the 10 ppb limit. This is the equivalent of about 70 Olympic swimming pools. One CRT can contaminate 70 Olympic swimming pools worth of water. When these metals leach from the electronic devices, they can exist in different forms. Depending on the pH and water conditions, the metals can be released as soluble metal in the water and become ionic. They can remain in the metal form and be released as particulates, or they can form complex solutions that contain both soluble and insoluble components. And the particle sizes of the particulates can range from colloidal to granular. The complex solutions can be very difficult to filter. One of the biggest problems with filtering these solutions is the fact that the particulates can go in and out of solution. There are really two different types of particulates possible. There are metal zero particulates, which are fairly stable, but can still leach out soluble metal ions depending on the pH. And there are also semi-soluble metal salts, where solubility is very dependent on pH, ORP, or other water characteristics. A good example of a complex solution of heavy metal is the drinking water standard NSF ANSI 53 for lead removal at pH 8.5. When testing to this standard, the solution has both soluble lead and particulate lead. The size of the particulate lead ranges but can have particulates as small as 0.1 micron. To complicate this further, the particulate lead is semi-soluble, meaning it can go in and out of solution depending on the concentration of lead in the water, pH, alkalinity, etc. This is a, an SEM image of the lead solution that was filtered through a 0.1 micron syringe filter, showing the range in size. There are many technologies that will remove soluble heavy metals from water. Zeolites, molecular sieves, ion exchange resins, and others can adequately remove soluble heavy metals from water. There are also technologies that are very efficient at removing particulates, even down to the submicron level. The complex solutions are much more difficult to remove, and even if you were to use a simple combination of the two different types of technologies, the system would have a difficulty removing these complex solutions. This is a SEM image of a solution of barium at pH 8.5 after being filtered through a 0.1 micron syringe filter. A filter to remove complex species needs to be designed in a specific way. It must be designed to first remove some portion of the soluble heavy metal, then have a surface where the particulate can be trapped and held, creating a zone where the particulate can go back into solution. Afterwards, the solution should then pass through a third zone that can remove any of the soluble heavy metal left in solution. To prove out this concept, we made a filter to this design. It consisted of a two-layer media with soluble lead adsorbents and a pore size small enough to remove colloidal particulates on the second layer. The filter was made to fit existing gravity pitcher filters on the market and then tested to the NSF ANSI 53 standard for lead removal at pH 8.5, along with the standard filter cartridges not optim optimized to remove these complex solutions. This is a SEM image of the first layer of the filter. The 
The influent water was injected with approximately 150 parts per billion of lead, of which about 30% was particulate, according to the ANSI standard. The failure point, according to the drinking water standard, is 10 parts per billion in the effluent. The normal cartridges not designed to remove complex heavy metal solutions failed almost immediately. The filter optimized to remove these complex solutions lasted greater than 80 gallons, showing great possibility for this type of filtration system to remove heavy metals, whether soluble, particulate, or complex. With the growing volumes of electronics that we use every day and increasing electronic waste, contamination of groundwater with heavy metals is also a growing issue. Utilizing this method of filtration will help remove soluble and particulate or complex species of heavy metals where it is needed. Thank you.